What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we'll be slaying this beautiful wig from start to finish. Now she does come courtesy of RPG Hair. You guys know I've been working with this company for quite some time. Get a load of this hairline. I went ahead and did a glueless install on this wig and look how the hairline looks. We obviously did no baby hair, but they did most of the work to pre-pluck the wig and to give us this beautiful lace. So of course the wig is linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But again, I wanted to show you guys what we're working with. This is a start to finish beginner friendly hair tutorial. So you'll be able to follow along and achieve the same look if you want to. And even the icing on the cake is the fact that this hair actually came straight. So this is a two-in-one wig. You can wear it either curly or straight. So I'm going to show you what it looks like straight, straight out of the box. I'm going to show you guys me silk pressing it and what it looks like to wet it down. Using my amazing spray bottle. This one comes from my own personal brand, B-Deck Beauty. Coming New Year's Day. So stay tuned for that. So if you're interested in going on this journey to install and style this wig with me, keep on watching. Jumping right into it, this is the packaging here as always. Super nice. And this is a look at the inside construction of the cap. I think it's important that you guys see what you're going to be purchasing from the inside out. It definitely will help you to understand like what to, you have to look forward to when it comes to the wig. I'm a visual person. That's why I like to do start to finish install. So that way, not only do you see like a review of the wig, but you can see exactly how it works, how it responds to heat, how it responds to water, you know, how it blends, how it fits on my head and so forth and so on as you guys can see the wig is already pre-plugged very very nicely but i did want to open that it up just a little bit more i honestly didn't do too much again you guys can see how beautiful it is so i highly recommend if you are a beginner and you're just afraid to go in on your own and tweeze out the hairline don't feel like you have to do exactly the steps that i have to or that i do um you don't need to for this wig Okay, next step from here, we're going to go ahead and apply the wax stick. You guys know I'm a dynamic duo type of girl, so I did go in and pair this with the electric hot comb. For some reason, that clip is missing, so you guys get the picture. You guys can see I brush it in and how slick and smooth um, it got. So if you don't use the electric hot comb, you guys can see how smooth it got without using it. But again, on camera, but somewhere in lost files there was a clip of me um you know smoothing out the hairline with the electric hot comb you guys see me do this in almost every tutorial so you guys aren't definitely not missing out from here i'm going to cut off the excess lace this is definitely a step you can do with the wig on your head i feel like if i remember to it's always just a little bit easier to just go ahead and cut it off really quickly before i put the wig on my head but again this is something that you can do um on your mannequin head you can do it uh while laying it on the countertop or you can do it with the wig on your head it's just up to you your technique for cutting off the lace can be um, many different things typically i would use an eyebrow razor today i kind of just use the scissors and as you guys can see it's a little bit jagged and not perfect and i like that as you guys can see this one can definitely go a little bit forward on the head so make sure you push it back so that it's not giving no forehead because that kind of makes you look a little bit warped i definitely am guilty of sometimes making my forehead disappear girls like me who have big foreheads understand that when you've dealt with a huge forehead your whole life sometimes you don't want to give big forehead energy and it's just you know <laughs> trauma we've been traumatized by the big forehead world but big foreheads are honestly much more beautiful my wigs always look much better when I push the wig back and that's just the truth as I run my mouth we are doing a glueless install I'm using the this ORS product I'll have it linked in the description box and I kind of just go in on one side and apply it um, sometimes I'll apply on top of the lace sometimes I'll lift the lace and put a little more underneath mainly the sideburns are the easiest to lift and not to actually lay down so I did put some on top and underneath to make sure that there was enough product to make sure that it bonds down and melts down nicely be sure to do this on a cool setting I do it on a warm setting typically which is why you'll see a little bit of blemish I don't know what it is but I get a little bit impatient and of course I found a new coffee shop in my area and I've been obsessed ever since I want to go there every single day it's just a little bit of a journey like it's not that far from my house but it's 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 a journey it's a hike so um yeah 
From here, I went ahead and added a little bit of contour powder to the hairline and then a little bit of concealer to the powder or concealer to the powder, concealer to the parting. This step is optional as well. You can use a foundation, a lace tint. You can use whatever works for you. If you want a cleaner application, be sure to use a little bit of alcohol along the hairline to clean up any blemishes. I skipped that step, but we're good. And then I did add a little bit of tiny sideburns on the side, and I am using a secret edge control. I can't wait to introduce it to you later this week, and it's from my line, BDAC Beauty. I'm so proud of what I've done and accomplished in as little as two months as far as finding my vendors and getting my products made, getting the logo, getting my business, getting a business account, ordering a huge huge inventory packaging and just everything else also you guys seen i did use the contour powder along the hairline but to make it even more perfect i just took my um used sponge and kind of just like went along the hairline with like old um foundation powder and kind of just make sure everything looked perfect and blended especially because we used a liquid and you kind of want to make sure that if you messed up your makeup you fix it now i'm going to go in and silk press the hair to give you an option so you guys can see what it looks like straightened look at my neck bright I get that check right. I'm so blessed, right? Off of that jet pipe, off of that side. I'm in a new coop. My nigga, I've been fired. I said what I said, right? Yeah, I get that check right. I'm so blessed, right? Off of that jet pipe, off of that west side. I'm in a new coop. My nigga, I've been fired. Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, just stop thinking about what you're gonna do now. Uh, we, we only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your worries. Okay, so this is what the hair looks like. I did kind of um, press the side out. I didn't silk it out as much as this side. I kind of just went through it with the hot comb. And as you guys can see, it straightened out pretty well. But let's go ahead and put this wig to the test. I told you guys that it does go to a curly texture. So let's see if it really does. I am using my, let's wait till it stops, my water bottle. This one comes from my company, Bidag Beauty. And it's coming soon. It's going to be launching on New Year's. And you guys know, if you've been watching me since the beginning, this is one of my favorite spray bottles ever. Because you can get so much water out and you don't have to keep pumping and pumping and pumping. It's a continuous spray bottle that will like, you spray one time and look how much comes out. So you're not like getting freaking carpal tunnel. As I mentioned, I did add heat to the hair. One thing about heat is if you ever got your hair pressed and you kept it like in a wrap style for like two weeks or whatever, and then you got in the shower to straighten your hair, for the first few minutes that you get your hair wet, it remains straight. So it's like wet, but it's still straight and it kind of smells like the, the, the flat iron. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But that's basically what's gonna happen with this hair because I did add heat. It takes a minute for it to realize Okay, we want to be wet so since I am going to style this in a curly um, hairstyle I'm just going to go ahead and add some mousse to it as well so that it does not go back to its natural straight texture and again because it's been heat processed by me let's just give it a moment to realize it wants to be straight so when you do this don't be like oh my gosh she said it was gonna curl up and it didn't curl up. It's gonna curl up, it's just, when you put heat in it, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, and there we have it. I was only gonna curl up where you add your water and your product. You guys see, I did not add the water or the product all the way up top I only added it like mainly in this section so this is the section that is starting to add that curl pattern and it's absolutely beautiful but you can definitely bring it higher up
and you can definitely make it curly from the root I'm not gonna go all the way to the root just because you guys know I like my root to be a little bit more straight sometimes but I'm gonna take it up as high as I want it and as you guys can see that beautiful curl pattern is shining through with no problem at all now how gorgeous is that you get the best of both words you get this nice curl pattern or you can have straight I'm gonna go ahead and take some pictures of it like side by side you know for that cool effect on my thumbnail and then we're gonna go ahead and wet the side down to match my baby I like you my baby I die for you see you you know you know I see you my baby you know you know I ride with you uh. my baby I don't cover that I die for you uh. I pray to the Lord Everything being safe again, huh? Everything for your jambele, oh jambele, oh, oh yeah. You are not a friend of me, no. Now again, I do want to mention, ooh, hair. As I said, I do want to mention, oh, camera's about to die. Okay, I think we got it right this time. So this is what the hair looks like when it is curly. I think it looks really nice there's a nice little cut to it that works best for the straight hair so if you want to give it a hair trim it's almost like it's meant to be like a um, what is this like a taper not taper like asymmetrical situation so it does have a custom shape to it it's not just blunt so if you don't like that obviously you have the option to just take and cut it how you would like it but I like the fact that they gave effort to giving it a custom cut now as far as the curl pattern goes it's absolutely beautiful now as I mentioned this one did come from RPG hair you guys know I work with RPG hair um, over the years I worked with them quite a few times the wig came in a bag like this and it just says it's a natural color 20 inches 180 percent density and the lace construction of the cap is a 13 by 6 lace wig this is their og original packaging that they've had for years i think it's been a little bit updated but i believe it's the same color and vibe but i think it's been updated a little bit either way they have their dust bag inside and like that wig was in the wig was in the plastic inside of this so you'll be able to keep this as a way to um store your wig and inside there were some goodies so first of all they gave me a nice little kind of like beauty blender sponge so basically like a makeup puff so i'll definitely be holding on to that they gave an adjustable strap so you can make the wig fit a little tighter or even more glueless they gave this flyaway balm so this is kind of like a um, not a mousse but a um wax stick you guys know i use the wax at the top and that is my favorite and then on top of that they did use or um provide me with a rat tail comb as well as a baby hair brush so that was really nice thank you guys so much for watching you can also find lists and links of everything i used to complete this look two of the products that we use today are from my brand slowly but surely i'm going to be introducing more products from bdag beauty um so that you guys will know what's coming my brand launches new year's so i'm very excited for that I was trying to launch for you guys for black friday but the bulk of my shipment of my products did not come in quite yet. I do have the samples and I was going to set it for pre-order, but I didn't want to have you guys waiting, not having a guaranteed days of guaranteed day of when my shipment would come in. So I want to make sure I have everything in-house and ready to ship when um, we go live. And plus, of course, I wanted to promote for you guys. So be sure to check this out coming soon for New Year's. VDagBeauty.com will have our flat irons. We'll have blow dryers that match the same beautiful crystals. Um, we'll have the electric hot combs. We'll also have these beautiful spray bottles. And if you haven't seen my logo, check out my Instagram, Be That Beauty on Instagram, and you'll see the packaging for um, like an edge control and all our styling products match this to a T. So I'm so excited to give you guys this brand and to add and to build and to grow this brand in 2020 coming up. So go ahead and subscribe more to come also wake sale will be next week 
and I feel like I'm so exhausted that I'm just like scatterbrained but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends put them onto my channel it'll help me out so much also I'm over I'm I'm all over the place so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one smooches